form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hello and welcome to the brand new Maya Config Pro. In this walkthrough video, I will show you all of the new additions and features and explain what Maya Config Pro is and how it can help you achieve powerful Maya-like functionality in Blender. Diving right in, this is the new Pro version layout. On the left, you'll see a newly formatted outliner. We've cleaned up the separating lines, doing away with the spreadsheet look. A horizontal split has been added for ease of use when dragging and dropping between collections. Next, you'll see a reformatted left side panel. It has been streamlined to be icon-centric, giving the advanced user more real estate and more opportunities for buttons in the future. The first major addition to the panel are the Mesh Smooth Preview buttons. These are numbered 1, 2, and 3, coinciding with their appropriate hotkeys for the same functionality. Hitting 2, for instance, will give you a Mesh Smooth operation at two subdivisions in both the viewport and while rendering. 3 will provide three subdivisions. These are set as a toggle and on and off switch, but the one key still resets back to zero for anyone wanting that particularly Maya feel. You have the option of using the one, two, and three hotkeys, or using the buttons directly inside of the panel. Next is the addition of a gizmo size adjusting slider. This is to be used with the transform widgets, allowing the user to adjust their size directly from the side panel. It becomes particularly useful during rotation operations. Defaulting at 75, you'll find you have a range between 10 and 200. While unlike Maya in a couple of areas, it provides a close alternative for gizmo adjustments. The rest of the panel is essentially the same as it is in the free version, except given two components. The first is an in-app hotkey list. This button pops up a window, allowing the user to quickly find any hotkey particular to the Maya config setup. The next button is the new shortcut equivalence add-on. was actually a very cool feature request. It has been implemented into the pro version and allows the user to quickly search for Maya equivalent hotkeys when given a Blender one. For instance, if the user types and runs the R Blender hotkey, the add-on will return back the Maya equivalent at the bottom of the screen, in this case, the E hotkey for rotate. This provides the user with a very handy tool when following tutorials or any content that is being presented with the default Blender hotkeys. The next new feature, and this is a big one, is the new Maya-like shelf. The shelf contains a lot of familiar features found in the poly modeling shelf in Maya. Starting with your basic primitives, you can quickly add objects to your scene. Some objects contain creation parameters, while others, where it's less needed, do not. Another option for this will be discussed momentarily. There's also an add text button and an add null or empty button. You can set an object's origin with this button pop-up, and this allows you to freeze transforms. Next, there's the addition of a Join and Separate button. Going into Edit Mode, I can select a face, separate by selection, and be given two objects. If I'd like to join these objects, I can select both and click the Join button. Moving forward, we can quickly jump to the Hypershade with this button, the Rendering tab with this button, and we have the addition of a Load Reference Image and a Load Background Image with these two buttons. Next we have a Add Light pop-up, as well as an Add Camera button. Next we have the very cool Live Like Symmetry add-on. These four buttons contain all of your symmetry needs, allowing you to run mirroring operations on the X or Z axis just by the click of a button. For instance, if the user selects an object and clicks on the X button, the object is automatically cut in half. Going to, say, vertex, we can move the vertex and both sides are adjusted. This works for vertices, 
faces and edges. Various operations like extrude can be performed and the object still retains the mirror. When the user is done with the add-on, they can click on the Apply Symmetry button. This returns the mesh to its non-symmetrical form. There's also an Apply Transforms button. Be sure to apply your transforms to any object that's been rotated, moved, or scaled prior to starting your mirror. Lastly with the shelf is the option to have it on the side. Hitting the N key opens the shelf to the right and gives a slight variation when objects are created. Since there's also more real estate, more buttons have been added, such as the NURBS curves and surfaces. Let us now hop over to Hypershade. The material editor has been reformatted with a new layout and features. The first big feature is the addition of six pre-made materials that come with the Pro version, all of which are affectionately named. You can now drag and drop these directly to your objects. When a new material is created, it will automatically populate into the list. A render engine dropdown has been added so that you can quickly hop between engines. A materials preview window is displayed as default so that you can view your materials as they're being created and manipulated. The next area of consideration is the rendering section. Let's hop over there. An outliner has been added as well as a rendering passes section. It is hoped that additional features are added to this section in future config versions, such as a render and view render buttons. Lastly, to close out the features for version 1, we have the FA tab switcher. This is activated by hitting Alt-T and allows the user to quickly switch between workspace tabs when hovering over a 3D viewport. The free version, Maya Config Add-on for Blender, will continue to receive small updates and bug fixes, but all new major features will be retained for the Pro version. If you're interested in these advanced features from a new layout with a top shelf and side panel, plus a lot of cool add-ons, be sure to check out the Gumroad link in the description to this video. Thank you so much for using Maya Config Pro.